Morning. I'm Jason with Major League Hacking, and uh, I'm here on Local Hack Day to talk about using Qbot, an open source hackable chat robot for small teams that we have live and running in the Major League Hacking uh, Local Hack Day Gitter uh, chat room. So Qbot was released by GitHub a couple, I think, about a year ago, and it's their uh, modification of their campfire robot which allows them to do things like ship code to production straight from their chat room. Um, Qbot released this to the world with a set of scripts that they found useful, and they asked the community to write their own scripts for uh, whatever they found useful. So people have written scripts to send pictures of cats into chat rooms, uh, ship code on varying environments, and all sorts of random things that, you might, that are useful, entertaining, what have you. There is a massive repository of these scripts um, living uh, on GitHub. It can be, uh, it can be found at uh, github.com slash Hubot scripts. And Hubot is very extensible, very easy to hack on. And I'm going to walk you through building something for Hubot right here. We have MechaSwift, our Hubot uh, bot, running in uh, Gitter today. And we invite all of you to hack on it. Uh, the repository is open source. We invite you to submit pull requests, and we will review them and deploy right to production. So you're all welcome to play with that. And let's jump into a demo. So I have here our uh, Hubot repository. So I'm going to create a new script for retrieving Bearcat facts. Qbot scripts are uh, simple module exports. So we export a module in CoffeeScript that describes how the robot performs a certain interaction. Um, that interaction can be a number of things. It can respond to people entering a chat room. It can respond to people sending specific messages. So we're going to respond to anyone who types the word bearcat in any case. It could be uppercase, lowercase. doesn't really matter as far as Qbot's concerned. Um, our good friend Shai, who you met earlier on the live stream, uh, has this great website called uh, bearcatfacts.info, which gives you, as you'd expect, bearcat facts. So uh, this one, you should own a bearcat as a pet, is absolutely true. They are adorable. So we're going to have our robot call out to bearcat facts. And when it gets a response, we are going to do nothing fancy, and we're just going to echo that response out to the chat room. We can do really fancy things. We can reply directly to the person by changing the send call to reply. Uh, we can append things to the response. So we can say, instead of just spitting out the Bearcat fact, we can say, hey, your fact is, and I'll put that. We can do whatever we want to this response, and we can send whatever we want to the chat room. We could bomb, we could bomb the chat room with it if we really wanted to. So we can then run our bot. It takes a couple seconds to start up. Hop right into our testing room, which we have specifically allocated for people testing Qbot uh, functionality. And send MechaSwift 2, which is the Mech, which is the MechaSwift version running on my local machine, not on production. We can ask him for a Bearcat fax. And he'll respond right away. So in addition to this, Hubot comes with some built-in functionality, um, which lets you do things like uh, play Cards Against Humanity, which we have built in. You're all welcome to have a massive game of Cards Against Humanity uh, in the Gitter chat. You can do uh, seemingly useful things like assign roles to people in the chat. Um, you can ask it to mustache you images. So if I say MechaSwift mustache me Swift, that will apparently mustache Taylor Swift, which I guess is funny when you have internet, which apparently I don't. Um, and it does all sorts of things. It's extremely customizable. Um, it'll do basically whatever you tell it to. Um, 
Yeah, that's Qbot. Uh, feel free to contribute to our repository. Uh, we'd love for you to hack on it throughout the day and enjoy. If anyone has any questions about Qbot or, or MechaSwift or anything, feel free to ask them in the chat. I'm here for a little bit. I'm happy to answer them live, so go right ahead. Um, I'm monitoring the local hack day room, so if you have questions, just ask them right there. Anyone? Questions? I guess there are no questions, so um, if I have some questions, jump in here. <laughs> Hi, Shai. <laughs> Man, I'm excited for this. So have you talked about our continuous deployment? Um, yes. People, people know that you can just push. Did you do that live? or People know that if they send us a pull request, yep. we will merge it, and it'll go live the second we merge it. Okay, so what are some cool things we can do with this Ubot right now? You tell me. All right, let's, let's, uh, how do we find out what kind of commands we can do? So we can ask MechaSwift for help. Okay, let's do that. Let's see. We can. Oh, and as a heads up, you can find this in, uh, you can find this link at um, github.com slash MLH, right? That's where you can find it at github.com slash MLH slash MechaSwift. Okay. So, all right, let's see what some of these things are. Pugs. Pugs sound amazing. Let's, let's see what pugs look like. For anyone who wants to follow along, we're doing this in the MechaSwift testing room so we don't pollute the main room. Yeah. Um, just pug? Pug me. Pug me. It's copyrighted. We can't do that. You've got to do it again. There I like that go. one. That's cute. That's better. What about if you're a cat person? Do we have cats enabled? We, I, oh, we I see cat kitten me. enabled. Okay, kitten me. There oh. we go. Oh, that's adorable. So many of them. I kind of want more. And then, I don't know, would, would Nick Quinlan be happy by this chat? Eh, he might be, but we can make him happier. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe we can make them happier. Oh, it's just Loon. Maybe. So Quidlin's not gonna be very happy about this. We can fix this for him though, and we'll be looking at that in a couple minutes. Uh, what else can we do? We can, what do you wanna do, Shai? Oh gosh, so is Bearcat Fact in here now, in this list? Yeah. We redo help. We have a uh, chat here. Hey, we do. Um, do we have a question? What are some practical uses for Qbot? So, like I mentioned, GitHub uh, uses this to grab statistics into their chat room from their production environment, so they can pull like, average load times for their pages, they can pull user counts, uh, they ship code to production from here, rather than having to push code with Git or whatever your deployment strategy is, Capistrano, FTP, whatever they're doing, and then notifying people manually in their chat room, they actually deploy inline from chat and make it nice and easy. What if I was hungry? You could use, uh, I think Sam Agnew wrote a order in client for uh, Qbot 
So whatever your company, whoever you're working with, if you have a chat going, you can all order food in line in your chat room. I think he just demoed that at New York Tech Meetup, actually. The video is probably online if you want to check it out. Is but it? also, like, if I wanted to monitor my deployment, or could I, could I trigger a build? Or? Yeah, you can trigger a build the same way that you can trigger a deploy. Uh, the once you trigger the build, the build can then talk back into your sure. chat room and give so it, it pipe the errors and stuff. Yep. Uh, there are integrations that exist for, uh, I think, bug snag exists, and you can actually have it listen on a webhook for various uh, notifications that come in and pop whatever you want into the room. Mm -hmm. That's awesome.